welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode with EnigmaCraft86. This is episode 31. Got a few things planned for today, and you can see this giant thing behind me. I've got a lot done. So stick around and see you in just a moment. And yeah, this has uh, been kind of an interesting little challenge here. You can see I am a great deal of the ways up. And yeah, this is just something I thought about building. Um, since astral sorcery has to be higher to the sky, or it needs sky access and it needs a higher altitude. Um, yeah, I built this and have a few platforms off to the side for stuff and things. Um, it's not the prettiest looking thing. I also have a like a little storage area down here if I need it. And we have this. Like I said, I love this color of wood. It always looks so great. But if we walk over here, like I said, this thing is fairly massive. It's not the biggest structure I've ever built, but it is up there in the amount. It took me a while to make it. And Okay, so there's bad things on the map, and I can't see them. And I am far from done with this. I still... Would like to do more to it, but I kind of need a form of flight to do that. But yeah, you can see I started off and I'm my main inspiration was this was uh like a what do you call that mage tower type thing, and yeah, uh, pretty much and it's fully functional. I was using it earlier. I'm just throw those out and pick them up. Thank you. And yeah, I am down a lot of marble. I used quite a bit from here. And quite a bit from over in my base. If I can grab this. Oh, that's always interesting. Uh, was this a compressed zombie? Well, never mind. Compressed zombie is no more. But yeah, so I have that built, and there's a few things I want to do today. For one, getting that uh, tree farm up and going. And I believe we have everything we need. But like I said, I used a lot of marble for that. Let's kick in for a second. Yeah, I had like over 7,000. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this stuff out so I can pick up some more. Because I always like to have plenty in my inventory. There we go. And back to up to 1,000, so that's not too bad. There's a lot of blocks I need to take out of here. i just too lazy to do that, apparently. Now... For the tree beacon, that was the last thing we were needing. And I think I do not have it over here. We're not needing much. We're needing the resonating gem, so we're needing the... Uh, I always forget the name of this thing. Ritual pedestal, which isn't that bad. It just takes a rock crystal, some gold, some chiseled marble, marble pillars. Yeah, we've got this. So let's go ahead and get the gold. And I should have all the marble in here. Yep, need that. Get that. And what else was it? Chiseled marble. There we go. That should be all we need. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it at night and pray I can get over there without being... What the heck? Why did that happen? Uh, let's find another crummy one. 62, 51, 32. Uh, looks like 32. You are the one I'm using. Now we are going to need a bucket of starlight. And I should have some spare buckets in here. Perfect. Okay, that was a little creepy. I thought I lost it for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and get this ready because I know I'm going to run. 
Jeez, yeah, the mobs aren't too bad on here. It doesn't mean they're too fun either. Okay, can I make it? Oh. That was a nice little run. All right, and we should be good to go on this. Unless I'm missing something, it doesn't look like I am. Got plenty of starlight and still building. That's why one of the reasons I wanted to put it up here was for the additional power. But since we have it, might as well use it. Now, this is part of the quest line. It is under this section right here. And the structure for it is actually quite interesting. Oh. Yeah, those things that pop up every so often. Hi. Oh, I didn't know you could hit them. I've never had one just sit still, so that's actually kind of cool. Now, if we look in our book, once I get it back out. This is under exploration, I believe. No, 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 no. I wish it was a little bit easier to get to what you need. No, it's not going to be underneath this one. I believe, well, maybe. Ritual anchor, ritual pedestal. That's something we need to work on. I might do that in this episode. So this week has pretty much been uh, nothing but like magic-based stuff. So it's a 7x7, seven seven, so it's kind of small. So I might be able to do that over here. I have plans for those things over there. So let's go ahead and do that over here because I think I have plenty of space. Now, uh, let's see, what's this? What all do we need? Oh, I need one lapis block. And I need 12 buckets of starlight. So this is going to take me a minute. Shouldn't be too bad. It actually looks kind of easy. But I will do this off camera and get this all set up. And I'll show you guys what this is all about. All right, everybody. I think I have most of it. I just realized what I forgot. Um, I'm going to have to go back to my base real quick. But this should be a completely functioning structure. And I got to love that uh, teleportation wand. I can't wait to get into Ender IO's uh, oh, wand of... I forgot what it's called. Uh, let's see. I need a lapis block. I only have 2,400 of them. That's okay. I just need one. But, yeah. Um, oh, the I can't remember what it's called right off the top of my head. But there is a wand that you can use from Ender.io to do basically this, but it stores a lot more power. So, this is the structure, and I did bring a few things. There is my fluid uh, tank. Which is quite nice, and I lost my bucket. But that's no big deal. Should have an extra bucket in here. It might have used it in that craft. Now, it says we need 12 buckets. And actually, no, there's something wrong on this. Ah, now I know what it is. I noticed a little bit of a flaw in this, the way it was designed. Come on, there we go. I believe it is set up like this. And there we go. Because there is a structure of three, or like an area for three. It takes 12 buckets to fill this. And if I have this right, which I believe I do, it shouldn't take much. And let me get this lapis block in here because I know my luck. Really? There we go. I'm going to fall in that. So let's not do that. But yeah, you have to basically make sure this is completely filled. And I only have three more to go. The only bad thing is with the picture that it was given, it does not show the inside very well. So you kind of have to guess what it is. You can see, I can't see what those are. So if this is correct, I should be able to place that there. Oh, that was a ritual pedestal. Oh, that's not what I need. 
Uh, what was it what I needing? Back. Starlight Infuser. Oh, no. Well, we needed both of these anyways. Okay. Uh, give me a minute, and I will be right back because that was derp on my part. All right, everybody. Uh, yeah, that was a derp on my part. No big deal. Um, basically, all I need to do is uh, smelt about half of this because we have 21 stacks of this stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. So there we go. And I should have everything else I need over there there if i can just exit go ahead and see if i can teleport over here so much faster than walking i mean no one's gonna blame me on that one okay let's see what all i need most of that okay no big deal uh let me put some stuff over here in this crate that i know i'm not gonna need i'll be setting up my light well later that should be all I need now what all do I need on this chiseled marble marble pillars and ruined marbles and engraved marble that was that's a new one so that should not take me too long to do as long as I can remember where my dink knoll is yeah so we're gonna have to get this up and going first you know great thing about this is if you sit in this gives you a nice cool bath but it also gives you night vision so Unless I want to sit in there all day. Yeah, it's not going to do me much good. So let me come back in a minute whenever it's nighttime. And we will go from there. Alright everybody, while we're waiting, because it's going to be a few more minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and make the... Oh, what the heck did it just do? Uh, telescope. Which will come in quite handy later down the road. But it's just something nice to have. And I will show you guys why in a minute. I really need to put a crafting table up here. Just a regular crafting table. Now that is a quest. So that is one thing off of our list. And I need... What happened to my rock crystal? Um, I lost my rock crystal. I also lost a mana ingot. Or one of these. So, I guess 56 is the worst one we have. So, let's see. What else do we need? Oh, wait. That's the wrong thing. I am not trying to make that. Uh, starlight. There we go. This is what we're wanting. I had it completely wrong. Go ahead and just put some of this stuff over here. Because I don't want to have to constantly dig in that one deal. That should be all we need. And look, wait. there we go. That's a screenshot for the ages. And with all the particle effects. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I didn't even notice those little beams coming off those things. So that's kind of cool. Uh, learn something new every day. All right. So that's a starlight infuser, and I believe that's all we need. Now... We finally can make some resonating gems. And this is actually pretty simple. If I've done this right, I should be able to click that in there and... No. I must have done something wrong. So I'm going to have to uh, basically pick all this back up. Because if I've done this right, it would have uh, started working. So, let me get my bucket. I'm going to have to pick all this stuff up and rebuild this thing. I might actually take my dank knoll out and uh, pretty much just try to follow it. Oh. Really? Well, I made a little bit of a mess there. But yeah, it goes straight off the amount I need. One thing I do know I got right was the lapis block in the middle, but that's about it. seriously. Uh, because that's what I could see. So let me come back in a few minutes and let me get this thing reset back up. 
and we'll go from there. All right, everybody. A few things I did in between cutscenes right there. Um, yeah, I set this back up, and I have a basic portable tank, which can hold 32 buckets, but I found I actually have these. So, look at that. 800 buckets. 800 buckets. That's over the amount of starlight I'll ever need. Now, I did put some in my reservoir. Uh, where did it go? Right here. I have six buckets, so. I can demonstrate what this is for real quick. And it's basically, oh, yeah, I was trying to fix this, and I forgot to do this part. Uh, we'll just do it like that. There we go. And what I did is actually I misplaced a couple blocks, so not that big of a deal. Basically, all you do is put this on here and hit it with a resonating wand. You can see all the particle effects. And I'm seeing if it will actually do it this time. There was a... See how that water right here changed? And it's a... Whoops. It's a little bit different. Well, if I put this on empty mode, it was uh, took one. That doesn't happen all the time, but it does have a chance to happen. So keep an eye out on that. And I believe this is all we need for the beacon. And apparently I'm yelling again in chat. Yes. So I only need two of those. Some rune marble and a bucket of liquid starlight. So do I have a bucket on me? I do, I do, I do. Okay. Should be enough to make a... No. Okay, so if that's not enough... There's that's all I got in that one. Alright, now I have enough to make a bucket. Now the only thing else I need are leaves, saplings, and that's it. Oh, what a beautiful night to be staring up at the stars. Now, what I'm looking through is the telescope from Astral Sorcery. And you can see these big uh, stars right here, the ones that are glowing. That's actually probably a constellation. Now, if we look in our book, we can actually look up constellations. And the only one we have right now is this one right here. Now, I don't think it is that one. But the way you do this is you copy the lines to the stars. And you try to attach them the way you think they would go. And I believe it is like this. And trying to line them up perfectly is a pain at times. You have to always make sure that you're actually on it. There we go. Now what I'm going to do in between episodes is see if I can find some more constellations. I made the d discovery of a Vicious. Now, if we click on Avicius, it actually gives us a little bit more information now. Being exposed to the focus of light, the will, uh, constellation will flow, flowers and plants nearby to flourish and grow. Basically, this is like a uh, gr bone mill effect. Now, since we're actually are still over here, let's go ahead and see we have enough power. Go ahead and right click that. And I'll be honest, a tree farm is always fun to have, but this, this is pretty cool. Like I said, all the particle effects are always great. It does take a while though. That's one thing that, yeah, they're great to have, but yeah, it does take a long time. Now, one thing I'm going to do real quick before we hop down and make our tree farm with this one beacon. I'll show you how it works. Is this. Um, yeah. Apparently, I drained this thing and it was not getting a lot of uh, juice from each one. So, this should help 
And I used two crystals, only got two buckets. Well, three, technically. Now, this one crystal has almost made me six. So if you're going to do a setup like this, always make sure to do this at night. And yeah, so I can get... I already have like 12 buckets and I actually ran out of time on this thing. Put another one on there real quick. Look at that, we already have 15 buck, almost 15 buckets. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. So I'm going to sleep through the night and I'm thinking around there, possibly for the tree farm. It's not a big tree farm, so. Oh look, another flare. I would love to catch these, and yeah. I always love those things. I don't know why. I'm weird. And actually, we can do this real quick. There we go. We slept through the night, and let's go ahead and teleport down. Now, the way this works is quite simple. Let's clear out that area. We don't really need the area cleared out. I have a skeleton over there somewhere. But we place the tree beacon down, and let's put it like right about here. And we'll place one sapling down. It has to be within range of it. You can see it's starting to work. A little bit of particle effects. Now I think we can speed this up. Actually, let's get our absorption hopper down. We'll put it... Uh... Let's go ahead and put it in the ground for now. There we go. And yeah, I think we should only need. Uh, let's go ahead and have this set up for two different things. And go ahead and just hit extract, always active. Go ahead and break this one just so we can. Uh, be able to access this should have my wrench ready because I used it a minute ago and of course not I put it up do 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 real quick wrench there we go that was like the fastest I have ever been able to find my wrench see up put this as insert should be good nothing in there blacklist that and there we go. You can see it's not really there. But it is there. And you can see it's trying to work. So let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. I don't know if I could tick accelerate. Oh, I can. You can see out of that one, we've gotten four logs so far. And there are ways to increase this. But for right now, I think this is actually a good little uh, automation. And no, you do not have to bone mill it. I did that just because I could. And yeah, look at that. Free wood. And have not seen a single apple yet. Which is kind of weird. So out of that one sapling, we already got 22 logs. Now this is going to be like chunk loaded and everything, so... Whenever I'm on, it will be running. And yeah, look at that. Just free wood. And I will I am going to put a couple stack upgrades. Even though I don't think we're going to need that much wood. And put a void up there. Just in case. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, ooh, wrong button. I know I did. Uh, I always love getting into magic mods, and building weird structures like the one behind us. Now, until next time, um, I don't know what I'm going to be working on because that was one of the main things I kept having problems with was wood. And, yeah, so probably going to go back into a little bit of tech, get some more things automated, and, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. And until next time, this is NameCraft86, saying hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you did and you're new to my channel, hit... Don't forget to subscribe and hit that big thumbs up button. I always greatly appreciate it. Any comments, concerns, or anything else, put down in the comment section down below. And until next time, everybody, this is NickMcCraft86. I said that like five times now. Sorry about that. 
Take it easy. Later, everybody.